Good morning, you guys. Happy vacation vlog number one. I am getting up and ready for the day. I put in some heatless curls last night. Let's take them out together. Seems like they held in pretty darn well. Bruno is outside. Yar's upstairs getting ready. I'm gonna make myself a little coffee. Okay, all right. I like, don't even know why I bothered because it's gonna be hot and I'm probably not even gonna wear my hair down, but overall, pretty good. We'll take it. I already did my skincare and I did throw on mascara and brow gel. So if you missed it for our little road trip vacation, we are going down to DC. I've never been to DC before. Oh, hold on, Bruno came back. Hi baby. Okay, so we are road tripping down to DC. We were gonna originally go to the West Coast, but we're only going away for like five days. Yar's passport's expired. So we were just trying to like figure out a fun kind of road trip. Cause like he had the PTO. We were planning to take this vacation as like a little like, I don't know, time away after filming Curvy Connection. Like that was the plan. This was like our little vacation relaxation. So we wanted to do a road trip. That's what we came to. And then we were like, where can we go? That's different. I've never been to DC. I wanna go and see all of the touristy things. I love a touristy vacation. So we're driving down to DC for a couple of days. And then on the way back, we're gonna stop in Atlantic City and stay there for a couple nights because we've never been. And we're like, let's just try something different. So I think it's actually gonna be a really fun road trip. Everything is pretty much packed. Um, so we're gonna drop off Bruno at camp. We call it camp on the way. Um, it's 7.45 and he has to be there between eight and nine. So he'll probably get there at nine. Good morning. <laughs> Are you gonna go have fun at camp? Eat your dental chew. I have some snacks packed in here. This is Bruno's food. And then I have like my techie stuff in here. This is the bag I'm gonna bring. Crossbody bags on trips are a necessity. All right, you guys, we are off. Bruni, say hi to the vlog. Are you excited to go to camp? You're so cute. Look at you. You cook a teddy bear. Well, it was pretty seamless getting up and out this morning. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? What did I miss? Seamless. Seamless? Why? It's not seamless. Why was it not seamless? we struggled. We didn't struggle that bad. We've struggled worse That's before. Funny. You only struggled when you couldn't get the second luggage in the car. But he put the seat down and it fit just fine. Stop number one is gonna be dropping off Bruno. We're about 10 minutes away. Um, and then we're gonna stop and grab some breakfast on the way. I took my Dramamine just now, so I gotta let it kick in so I can be passenger princess, get some work done on my phone. I get so nauseous in the car if I'm not driving and I like if I'm reading or going on my phone, I just, I have to take Dramamine. So since we have such a long trip ahead, took a Dramamine, will definitely be rotating. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be an eight hour drive. I don't know where I got that in my brain, but it's only six-ish hours to DC from here. So I'm kind of stoked about that. I'm sure we're gonna stop. I bet it'll take about seven with like stopping, charging, eating. It's Saturday morning of Labor Day weekend. So we're kind of curious if we're gonna hit traffic because at first we were like, yay, it's Saturday. There'll probably be no traffic, but then we're like, wait, it's a holiday weekend, so I don't know. All right, y'all, stop number one is check. We actually two stops. We dropped off Bruno, and thank God he loves it there, or I would literally be sobbing. He could not give a crap about either of us. We were trying to say bye to him, and he was like, got a blast. Um, so we stopped at Starbucks and got breakfast. Yar got the um, bacon sandwich, double smoked. You know, I got my egg bites. So right now, it's kind of funny because last night we checked and it said it was gonna take six and a half hours or six hours and 18 minutes. Now it says seven hours and 18 minutes. So I'm guessing there's gonna be some sort of traffic at some point. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Right now it says we're gonna arrive at 4.40. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so far away. It's 9.20 right now, but we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have good chats, listen to good podcasts. I took a Dramamine, so if I wanna go on my phone or get work done, I can. 
Um, but I'm really curious to see what time we actually get there. If it says 4.40 with stops and stuff. That's gonna be 4.40. You think it's gonna be 440? With stops, yeah. With stops, because yeah. you're, you're, you're gonna like go slightly above the speed limit. <laughs> so we'll see. And also I feel like maybe it could cut down, like traffic could change. My, this is my guess. He thinks we're gonna get there at 440, still with stops. I think we're gonna get there at five. Watch we'll us get there at like seven. <laughs> we'll see, we'll keep you posted. Uh, let's take our time, what's the rush? Yeah, there's no rush, we're chilling. No. We're chilling. We can stop and stretch our legs whenever we want. But it's kind of funny to think like this drive is like the same as like taking a flight to LA or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Without the time change. Without the time change, which yeah. is nice. And I, I do love a road trip purely because you can stop when you want to stop. Like as much as I love traveling on plane, it's like I do feel a little trapped sometimes, especially with a long flight. It's very nice to be like in control of when you want to stop. If you want to like take a detour, take a detour, sightsee, stretch like, your legs, yep. yeah. So I am a little bit more. I'm like less anxious. Usually I get a bit anxious around travel, just because I'm a homebody. I don't know. Oh my gosh, the time just went down ten minutes. There you go. There we go. Now it says seven hours and eight minutes. So I don't know. I think I think you might be right. I think we're gonna get there earlier. But yeah, I'm not super anxious because it's road trip and it's just like going at our own time and pace and speed. So, all right, I'll check in with you guys when we make our first stop, and boom, we're already in Connecticut. <laughs> Only a few more states to go. So we are stopping at our first stop just to go to the bathroom. It's only been about an hour. <laughs> we were like, well, we may as well plug in the Tesla just while we're, you know, going to the bathroom. Tell them how many tar chargers there are. Well, there's usually more than two on 95. No, I know, why are there two? Right. And they're both being used. <laughs> it's okay. It did plan. It tells us like yeah. it, it, it plans everything out. So. It plans one out. It has one stopping it. like halfway-ish in New Jersey. So we still have sixty percent, and we've been driving for a while. So yeah, it's pretty good. Going good. Well, howdy from. I don't even know. Are we in New Jersey? Are we in New Jersey? Okay, we're in New Jersey. Oh, it feels so good to stand. Oh, and stretch my legs. It's halfway. We're halfway there. We're on the freeway. We're gonna charge, it's like what, like 1.30-ish. Um, we're hungry, so we're gonna go have some lunch. We were so salty because we drove by. <laughs> we drove, he's so salty too. We drove by so many good service plazas with like Shake Shack, Chick-fil-A, all these great ones. And now we're past all the good ones and it's just um, like Burger King and Nathan's. <laughs> So we're kind of salty about it. I looked it up and I was like, yeah, there's no, like the rest of them for a while are not, not good. <laughs> but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Get some nuggets or something. All right. Yara's plugging in the Tesla. Gonna charge. Get back on the road. Well, we made it. It has been quite a long day. Charging the Tesla was not bad at all, honestly. I don't know why I'm so pooped. We left the house to bring Bruno to camp at like 8.30 and we got here. We ended up getting here at 5.30, but we, I didn't vlog it. I should have. We had a massive kerfuffle <laughs> when we were getting food. Um, it was just quite a kerfuffle <laughs> with the, not with us, but like the place we got food. It was just a whole thing. It was a whole thing. But if we hadn't had that issue, we probably would have gotten here around 5.00. Like you girls said, but it was good overall. Really good road trip, not too shabby. And we are staying. This will go up after. So we're going. We're staying at the Intercontinental Willard, the Willard Intercontinental. But we're super close to like the White House. We're in like the thick of stuff, so we can walk places, which is great. So here's a little room tour when you walk in. Over here, you have the bathroom. We have this little section here with uh, ye snacks we shall not touch because those chips are like $10. But then in here, we do have a fridge, which is great. With some cups. The bathroom is gorgeous. So bright and airy. Just like beautiful. Even like the W carved there, it's just stunning and massive. We got a big closet. Let's see. Are the robes size inclusive? Probably not. But here's the closet. Oh, it comes with a little umbrella. We love that. Something we found interesting. The bed 
and the TV are a little, a little not conducive to work together. We'll be watching our show probably on a laptop in bed. But here's the bed. It's really pretty. It's like blue and gold kind of themed. And here's our view. Little chair in the corner, super comfy. As I've mentioned several times, it is pretty warm, but at least it's like the sun's going down and it's not super humid, so it's definitely manageable. So we're gonna just chill for a little bit, do some research on food and go out, walk around and get dinner somewhere. Okay, can't be bothered with makeup, but here's the outfit, Old Navy dress. I still have some of my heatless curls and I'm just putting in some Amazon sunglasses. I'll link everything from this trip down below. And they have sneakers. Hopefully we don't get too sweaty. I forgot my neck fan, so that's great. Hair's already up, you guys. Oh, someone's coming in. Nope, okay. <laughs> I'll show you guys the lobby. So beautiful. Honest review time. Yeah, right, that low light's pretty good. The low light is pretty good. I'm trying to commit to vlogging on the camera this trip, not my iPhone. <laughs> I'm just gonna resist feeling awkward pulling out the camera in public. I did not like that pizza. I didn't mind it. He didn't mind it. Granted, I can't have a lot. I had to have my slice because I was hungry. My tummy got full. But we didn't even bring the leftovers back, and that says a lot. Your finger. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot. Um, I don't know, it was just like, it wasn't bad. It was just kind of like, it had a weird f flavor, like kind of sweet. I think the cheese to sauce ratio was a little off. There wasn't enough sauce, a lot I'd of cheese. Prefer, I'd prefer my pizza with a lot more sauce. I like more sauce, less cheese. But it had good reviews, I don't know. They were known for deep dish and we got thin crust. Um, so maybe that was part of it. I don't know. But anyway, at least we ate. We were hungry. It feels good to be out and walking. We ended up booking some exercise ring closed. Oh, exercise ring closed. <laughs> we ended up booking some tours for tomorrow. We're gonna do one at night, which will be really nice. It's like everything will be lit up and it won't be crowded or hot. And we're also going to the Holocaust Museum tomorrow. What else? I don't know. We booked a bunch of fun There's stuff. There's a Sephora right across the street right a now. A Sephora! <laughs> We don't really need to go to Sephora. Good morning, you guys. It is our first full day. We have F1 on, of course. It is race day. I have not been like, it's hard to like love this season because like I feel like just Max wins every race. And we're a Lewis fan household, but we have it on nonetheless while we get ready. We were researching last night, Yar's in the shower. I can hear him watching it in the shower as well. Um, we are gonna go to brunch because we were looking up last night some great brunch spots. So we were able to get a reservation at like, I think it's called Founding Farmers. And it has like really good reviews. They either had like, a la carte or a buffet. I know I can't eat much, but I have a husband that wants the buffet, so we're going to the buffet. So I'll show you guys and we'll give you a little review, a little food review. Food reviews are so much fun. I'm not qualified, but it's just fun to like let you guys know if we liked it or not. So I'm trying to figure out what to wear today. So like I've been blabbing about, it's gonna be so hot. This next few days, like it's high 90s. Plan on the itinerary today is we're gonna go to brunch, then we have um, a time slot at the Holocaust Museum at 12. Brunch is at 10. It's like a mile walk there and then over to the museum. Then after that, we're planning to like come back here, take an afternoon rest. Then we have dinner and then we have the three hour night tour. That's the plan. It's gonna be a jam packed day, but I think I kind of want to dress more casual today, but I have like so many cute dresses I want to wear. Like I was thinking of wearing like athletic, vibes you know do that or like one of my abercrombie sets the tank and shorts i also don't know what i'm doing with my hair i did throw in some brow gel and mascara and concealed a few pimples 
but that's the most I can do. I know I'm gonna like sweat that concealer right off. I want to dress for fall and it's 90 degrees. <laughs> we'll see what we come up with, but I know I know the hair is going up in a clip or a slick bag bun. I know that much. All right, you guys, we just made it to Founding Farmers and Distillers. So let's see how it is. Yo, there's a sweet green though. Ooh, our favorite. We get so excited when we see sweet green. All right, give them a fit check, babe. Cute. Really? Hoka. So Levi's, Oka, Levi's, uh, Lululemon kind shirt. And he just got this hat at a little store near our house. Wait, yeah. do my fit check. Soul Kiss sunglasses. They're wide face friendly. I will link them. The discount code is fearless because they're actually wide enough for a wide face. Old Navy dress, New Balance, crossbody. Let's go. Another honest review, but this time it's a good one. How was your breakfast? It was very good. The bacon was on point. The hot chocolate was amazing. He got the hot chocolate. Like you have to try the hot chocolate. That was just phenomenal. Because they make their own chocolate. With this way? Uh, this way. Okay. So they make their own chocolate. They have like really amazingly sourced cocoa, she said. So he got this amazing hot chocolate. I had a sip of it. It was so, so good. Um, I will say the brunch, whoop, stand by. So they had breakfast and lunch. I, um, the great thing was even though I can't eat a lot, I had a little bit of everything cause it's a buffet. So I got to still try like a little bite of everything. The breakfast food was amazing. The lunch was okay, but the breakfast food was like insanely good. Okay you guys, we are walking to the Holocaust Museum, soaking it in. It's a lot to see. Yara's been here before. So he's been giving me like the best tour. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're heading into the Holocaust Museum. I don't know if we're gonna be able to record, but we will see. You guys, I am so exhausted. <laughs> we knew. And like, I apologize in advance for any future complaining in this, but it is so freaking hot. We've already walked almost five miles today, which is great, but my dogs are barking. They're barking. My dogs are barking means your feet hurt. Your dogs are your feet. <laughs> we had breakfast back at 10 and now it's 3 15 so i just started to get hungry yar's still full from the buffet we're gonna go to dinner in a couple hours so before then i got a little ham and cheese from the cafe down here they have a cafe it's called cafe du parc but the nice thing is they have um like kind of a grab and go station so if you want to grab just like a pastry or a little sandwich or anything you can that'll hold me over um, we're gonna chill out. The Holocaust Museum was amazing. He's gone multiple times now because he's been in DC a few times. And like, he says he makes an effort to go every time he comes. It's just like, there's so much to learn and see. It was honestly a great experience. It was really busy, but if you just kind of like take your time, we were in there, I think for, would you say like two and a half hours, two hours? Give or take. Yeah. Give or take two to two and a half hours because it was, really busy like there was kind of like a line of people and you just kind of like slowly moved along the theater was closed though have you been in the theater there yeah it was nice it, it gives you a nice introduction like it, it, it really primes the moment of like it sets the tone right yeah the houses. theaters were closed so that was kind of a bummer but there was also like some tvs throughout kind of like showing some things but we just stopped and like read everything so you could follow the story and kind of take it all in as you go it's like self-guided which was great you can go at your own pace but yeah I teared up a few times it definitely made my heart hurt um, but a really overall great experience would definitely recommend checking it out so I'm really excited for tonight too because I think going when it's cool tonight and seeing everything lit up is gonna be really really magical so um, and we also walked by a few, we didn't walk by the White House yet, so that'll be fun. 
I haven't seen that in person yet but we saw a few a few spots along the way I cannot wait to like shower off my sweat <laughs> wash my face you can tell I sweat because I've got this little curl right here that's like the tell-all for me there's no chance of me looking cute at all on this vacation but I did get some compliments on my dress <laughs> so we'll take it you guys that nap rejuvenated me I am alive and well thank god we watched a little Lincoln Lawyer and then I'm like time to go sleep so here is the situation we're going to Mi Vida for dinner and I'm gonna get some Mexican I'm still not putting on makeup I look tired <laughs> that's okay that is okay so I put my hair in a side part with just like this pony and then another old navy dress I love this dress I think it's so cute for summer to fall um, and then these shoes as I said everything will be linked but these are thick mamas they are amazing for walking amazing and then I changed into these new little earrings that I got recently where did I get these from like TJ Maxx they're fun they're different I do wish I had a full glam I would feel a little bit better but this is a great um, challenge for me because putting in effort but not having on makeup I always feel I don't know like not worthy and I know it's such such an internal battle so it's good that I'm kind of forcing myself out of that <laughs> but all right let's go let's go get some dinner not Yarman stopping to take a photo of a cool new Prius <laughs> you they like look amazing <laughs> Yarman likes the new Prius design oh good car chats with Yar guys dinner was delicious so good now we are walking to our tour and it's not hot it feels so good now that the Sun is down it's not like super humid just hot <laughs> but now that the Sun's setting definitely more manageable so let's go on this bus tour We slept in and we're running late <laughs> so today on the agenda we have Ford Museum Ford Theater Ford Theater Ford Theater the ballrooms are so pretty we saw a wedding the last couple nights but we have to get breakfast first we slept till 9 30 which is later than we expected so we're gonna go to the corner bakery really quick to grab a bite before and I'm dressing comfy today you want to make this light yeah when I tell you, my dogs are barking. <laughs> we walked nine miles yesterday, but we did it. <laughs> and we saw so much. A few moments later. That was so hectic. <laughs> I shouldn't have even tried to vlog until we got here. I didn't even have time to put on mascara. I did my skincare and brows. Um, so yeah, we slept in. 
Pop, what time did you get up? 9.15. 9.15? Okay. I never do that. So I was right after you. Yeah. And we went to bed at like 11.30 because the tour was till 10.30. So the tour was great. I don't even think, we didn't even recap it. So the tour was great. It was the USA guided tours and it was the night one. It was really nice to go at night and see everything like lit up. You don't really think there's a lot of walking. <laughs> it's a lot of walking. We ended up walking a few more miles that night from the bus, but it was very beautiful to see everything lit up and a little bit more quiet at night. Still busy, but a lot more quiet than the daytime. A lot more manageable with the weather. I dressed so much more comfy today. I'm just wearing like bike shorts and a workout tank because and lessons learned from day one. Lessons learned. This heat is no joke. It's like, like it's crazy down there. It's for like fall, you know. I know. I, well, it's still it's still early. Well, it's, it's, it's still summer technically, right? Yeah, it's still technically summer, but like it's hot and it is humid. It feels like when we were on our honeymoon in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> and then I don't know. We don't know what else we're gonna do the rest of the day yet, but we will see. Okay, we just left Ford Theater, and honestly, it was really good. Um, it's a nice museum because it's you can go at your own pace, but then you can go sit in the theater, and there was a woman there like answering questions and kind of telling more of the story. And you can go see and look into the boxes where it happened, the assassination. It's very cool. That was definitely a good like hour. I think it was like three dollars. Definitely a good thing to check out. But you know what we're gonna do? We wanna go to the movies, cause you know what? It's our vacation and we can do what we want. Really hot and we wanna get in the AC. So we're gonna go to the movies and it's gonna be nice. We're gonna see the new Gran Turismo. Nothing like an air conditioned uh, movie theater on a hot day. Of course we had to do a quick stop for some caffeination. Got matcha, water, and Yara got a hot coffee cause he's an actual psychopath. Am I gonna eat all this popcorn? <laughs> No, <laughs> but for the experience, yeah. Because it was like 50 cents more for a large. And it was like double the size. Triple the size. It was like the medium was a bag and this is a large, so I might as well get the large. Right, might It's as great well. value. All right, we're gonna go see the Gran Turismo movie. I'm in it to see the guy from Stranger Things. Nice. Hey, There's a point in the The Paw Patrol pups get soup. Why was that one of the best movies I've ever seen? It was really good. Why did, really I, why did I come here essentially for Yar and to get out of the heat and because I love movie theater popcorn but I ended up crying and loving it and it was over two hours. If you like a movie where you root for the underdog and like you just want to cheer someone on, I cried at the end. It was amazing. That was actually really good because I know a little bit about cars from my beloved. It was, it was really good. It was a great story, and I love the guy from Stranger Things. He crushed it. <laughs> I could have sworn that was Christine Horner's wife as the. As oh, the we thought it. Yeah, we thought it was um, the, the Spice, Spice Girl. Girls. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Can you Google it? Because it did. It, you called it, and I didn't see it right away. No. It's not her. No, it is. It is. It's Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. Spice Girl. Yeah. Right there. Jerry Spice. Ginger Spice. <laughs> also known as Jerry. Well, in honor of going out to dinner, I put on a mascara. It's the most I can do. And I washed my face when we came back because it was hot, but I did change tonight for dinner. This is our last dinner in DC. We're going to Old Ebbett Grill because it's close and it has great reviews on TripAdvisor. We are a TripAdvisor household. The sunglasses and the low bun to make you feel cute if you're not doing your hair. Um, Amazon earrings. This is the jewelry I've been wearing pretty much the whole time. I brought a couple different gold earrings. I've been like swap -rooing. but here's the outfit tonight. This cute little mini dress from Amazon. It's got like blue polka dots. It's just such an easy dress for like warm weather. Um, and then these cute like kind of designer inspired sandals are also nice and affordable from Amazon and wide foot friendly and the trusty crossbody moment for travel. So let's go have some dinner. We're gonna have kind of an earlier night. Last night was a longer night. So we're gonna get dinner now, come back, watch an episode of Lincoln Lawyer and go to bed because tomorrow's gonna be a long day because we have a White House tour in the morning. Then we're gonna hit the African American Museum and then we're gonna head out. We were able to get late checkout, which is great. 
and then we're driving three hours to Atlantic City which is on the way home and we're only spending two nights there that's the trip so let's go get some dinner I had to try the jalapeno burger, but Yara is gonna have some of my fries. We'll see how much I can eat, but it looks really good. And then Yara got some sort of grilled chicken bowl. Grilled chicken bowl with like corn and some, like corn and some fun stuff. It's all about a good fry. Okay, this was so good. I'm gonna bring it back to the room and maybe munch on it in a few hours. And also, the fries were amazing. Tomorrow. All right, guys. Good morning. It is our last day in DC. So we have our White House tour at 10, and we were gonna just do like a quick breakfast, so we're having breakfast at the hotel at Cafe Du Parc. It's really cute up here, I'll show you guys, cause like we saw the outside with the upstairs, it's really cute in here. So I'm vlogging on my phone because we can't bring like anything. Like I, it feels so weird not to have like a purse. Like I have my phone <laughs> and my license. So we're gonna go tour the White House. And then we have a slot at the African American Museum. And then we're gonna hit the road for Atlantic City. I'm excited. And I'm wearing my new old lady dress. And here's the menu for Cafe Du Park. I think I'm gonna get avocado toast. I love avocado toast. really is so beautiful like look at this bathroom like everything here is just so aesthetically pleasing and I'm just so happy that I got this dress on sale <laughs> I had such a hard time with my hair this morning I did like the Sophia Richie style slick back bun method struggle bus but we did it <laughs> just finished our tour we took so many pictures we couldn't video record but i took so many pictures and now we're gonna go into this little gift shop we are so thirsty let's see if they have water i love a gift shop you guys that was such a cool experience honestly like 10 out of 10. be a cozy ornament person and start collecting memories so i definitely want to do one of these which one babe wreath or white house you can choose Wreath, agreed. 10 out of 10. So cute. I think we need one with a cover. Oh my god, this is $45. <laughs> Worth it. Record scratch. We always get a magnet every time we travel, so. Which magnet are you feeling? Oh, this one's cute. Actually, these are really fun. This is the one we both like. See how much, $45? Oh, only 20. Now we are off to the African American Museum. Let's go.
Okay, you guys, that museum is incredible. If we didn't have to check out and leave, we would have spent hours in there. There's so much from like history, pop culture, sports, like everything about African American culture. Amazing, amazing. Um, so we ended up getting some stuff at the gift shop I'll show you guys later. We're kind of rushing back to the hotel now to check out and hit the road. Well, you guys, we are off from DC to Atlantic City, baby. Yeah, we are. Time to relax. Time to relax. This was like the fast pace, get our steps. But now Atlantic City, it's funny because Atlantic City people probably go to like party, but like we're not going to party or to gamble. Like we're going to like, I don't know, walk the boardwalk, have some good food, lay by the pool. <laughs> and it's honestly, like we said, it's just tonight and then all day tomorrow and then we leave the next morning. So tomorrow morning, our loose plan is walk the boardwalk, a little bit at the pool and just like explore the resort because like the ocean, apparently it's like a great resort there. So we'll see. But thank you guys for watching this portion of the travel vlog. I'm gonna cut them in half because I think I have like a lot of footage. So it's gonna be half DC and then the second half Atlantic City. So stay tuned for part two in a few days, but we love you and we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you soon.